Hello friends, Running Kimono here. So <laughs> today I was not going to make a video. So here was the plan. Get up at 9 a.m., throw on some clothes, throw on some deodorant, head to the Dollar General because you need some all packs. They are $9 for two, pairing it with a five off of 25. That's a little something called magic. And I really wanted to do that deal. And so I did a bunch of little deals on my card, my husband's card, my mother-in-law's card. I wanted to do some deals and I spread it around a couple of stores. I wasn't doing it all at one store just to throw that on the table. Um, but the first store I went to, I kind of got into a very weird, um, argument uh, with a cashier and she was doing everything to push my buttons and guys I bring this to you and I'm still shocked by this because usually the Dollar Generals where I live everybody's cool calm collective nice there's kind of an atmosphere where everybody's you know it's a job but they seem to have to be pretty much go with the flow very good people I like to joke around with them just nice um this lady, I believe, was a new hire. I'd never seen her before. And I, I, she was not the manager because she even told me that uh, she was going to get me the manager, but the manager wouldn't be in for two hours so to come back. And I was like, no, 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 uh, I want a refund. So just to give you the very long story short, um, <laughs> I went to the Dollar General first thing this morning because we got a snowstorm this afternoon. So I wanted to get all my shopping in before the weather started getting gnarly on the roads. And I wanted to do a couple transactions, a couple of stores. I had it all planned out. Um, now with the U by Kotex, we have a four off of two digital. And there's also one from the newspaper uh, for the pads or the liners. And I had grabbed... Um, four of them because the first store I went to they were short on some products and I just could not get my basket right where I wanted it so I was a little short so I needed to get four you by Kotex. Now essentially I, I the cashier scanned all of my stuff I punched in my phone number and then I presented the coupon she could not get the coupon to scan and there's I believe a button you have to press on the cash and once you press it, you're able to scan it. But she pressed the final pay button first. And then she went back in to try to take off the $4 coupon. So what she did was a modified uh, price. And she said she did it on the all packs. And she said that she made one of my all packs um, $1.75. And if you look at the receipt, the first one is $5.75. The second one is $5.75. Now, this week, if you buy two of them, see all that store discount and it's all goofy and stuff. It's taking an extra $2.50 off to make it nine. And yes, you can pair that with the four off of two. But she was trying to tell me that that's what she did. And if she did a modification on anything, it would say modification or like the price would be different next to it. But $5.75 is the price before these modifications. So I know nothing happened. I've been shopping there long enough that I know that this is just, she was doing something else behind the cash register and not doing that. And I wouldn't be dishonest. So anyhow, uh, she did that. Uh, my total was like seven or eight dollars and I paid it. And then I looked at the receipt and I noticed the modifications she, she said she would do did not happen. So I went back in line at the very back. I only had one transaction at the store again because they didn't have a lot of stock. And when <laughs> I got back to the front, she just looked at me. She was not happy to see me. And I was like, okay, this is going to be great. And I told her, I explained that um, the four off of two coupon that I presented the paper one, it didn't come off. And I looked at the receipt and then she looked at it and then she pointed at um, the all and see where it says um, the store coupons and I'm like no 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 because that's a promotion on that that's why it's that price and she's like no I did that and so guys I'm out four bucks <laughs> and I I just said to her in the, the kindest way I was like okay I'm like I don't see it can you point it at me and then she's pointing at the thing and I'm like that's not how that goes that's for the digital for the, the all that because there's a promotion on that this week too this is the frosting on the cake. She's like, well, you got your $25 basket for $8. That's good enough. And I'm like, not for me. And so the lady just looks at me. She's like, well, what should I do? I'm like, well, I want the difference of $4. And at that point, she's like, no. And I'm like, it's never happened. So I'm like, okay, well, this is what we're going to do. I gave her the two you by Kotaxes, put it on the table and said, let's return this. I don't want them. And she's like, 
I know you want to just sit here and fight all morning, but we're not going to do that. <laughs> and so I think this is maybe the third time I said, I would like to return these now because I knew I was going nowhere with her. The manager was two hours from coming in. I wasn't going to sit in the parking lot for three hours waiting for somebody. But holy moly, this woman was cocked and loaded. She went from zero to furious, like like she was right there just ready to argue and I'm like lady just like relax this is a coupon that was missed I know that you guys give missed coupons so let's make this right so I returned the item she was pissed at me like really really angry and there's not much that I can do I'm not paying an extra four dollars for this and what she did doesn't like I can't see it and I know I've done this deal more than once today that all my receipts look like this and there is no modification here so oh how frustrating is that I absolutely absolutely kept my cool I was somewhat like a robot and at one point I just said I would like a refund I would like to return this and the third time I said it she returned it but my goodness gracious, this lady, I don't know what happened before she got to work or she had a customer before me that maybe they got into an argument, but she was just so ready to be nasty and just like argue. And I just, I don't get it. And there are a lot of you out there that every Saturday you'll send me a message or write in the comments here about an awful transaction you had at the Dollar General and you're like, that's it, Jadon. And I fully understand you guys. And, uh, you know, sometimes when you have the same staff and they're very, you know, they just know you, you're just a regular, they treat you well, they're nice. Um, I don't run in there and say, I'm an influencer, I deserve the best treatment. But I do know the right and wrong. And I'm not paying an extra $4 for some pads that we always get for free. So I would like a refund, you know, uh, always, always, always remain calm and they are trying to sometimes push you, especially a person like that. They are trying to get a reaction out of you and to say that I should be happy with an $8 basket and that, you know, that I want to stand there and argue. No, you didn't do your job. And I wanted $4 off of these two boxes of pads. Let's make that happen. And if you can't do that, then we have an issue. And it's just... Like, I wasn't rude. I was very kind. And at the end, I just kept repeating the same thing. I would like to return the product. And then finally she did it because the line behind me was growing and everybody got some great entertainment this morning with this. But embarrassing, uh, telling me I should be happy with that and just very dismissive of me somewhat too. I have all of the information to do um, a survey, which I will do because I don't like being spoken to that way. And she probably treats everybody that way, which is really sad. And again, like I was saying, everybody is really relaxed and it's just, a, you know, everybody's just having a good time at this store. The staff, for the most part, joking around, really fun. Not today, though. So guys, let me know in the comments what you think about this one. And uh, yeah, no matter what, somebody push, 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 you can always walk out or you have the option to do the survey. But if you sit, stand there and argue you know, they, they can always put that on you. There's a camera in the store, obviously at the front. And then at many of these robotic self checkouts, especially the automated one, you're being recorded as well. So, you know, you don't ever want anything bad to come back on you. But this instance, the cashier was also recorded. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.